Hey, I'm Callie Lewis. You're watching Geek Brief TV. This is Brief 32. Social networking sites are all the rage these days, but if you are looking to hook up or flirt, most of them can seem a little shallow. And along comes Fackley. And <laughs> Fackley aims to bring people together through questions and answers. There are three primary features associated with an account. A personal FAQ for trading questions and answers with friends. The helps feature allows you to give and receive advice or instructions. And the shares feature gives you the ability to post items you own that you're willing to lend and to keep track of which items are out on loan. Fackley is in beta. I've set up an account to see how it all works. There's a link in the show notes if you have any questions for me. The helps feature is interesting. Have you ever had a friend for years only to discover that they're an expert on some obscure subject? What if you needed advice on that subject? If you send out a helps request to your faculty friends when you need advice, technical support, or information, you might discover all kinds of interesting things about your friends. What happens when you're on a plane and your iPod, your PDA, your cell phone, turned off of course, runs out of power? The in-flight USB power unit, pff, power unit, takes advantage of the small amount of power coming from your seat's audio out jack. It's kind of inexpensive and the power you get is limited, but the way it works is interesting. It stores energy collected from the headphone jack in three to five minute cycles. Power is then transferred to your device for one minute, so it takes about six minutes to get the same charge you'd get in a minute if the device was plugged into a USB or AC power source at home. Tips can be changed out to support over 700 devices. Not everyone who watches Geek Brief embraces our cheesy gadget spy backstory. But for those of you who do, here's a really groovy watch. Groovy, baby! <laughs> it's called the Nixon Dictator, and it has the capacity to record up to eight three and a half minute reminders. Its monochromatic retro styling reminds me of a studio microphone or something out of the movie Sin City. Groovy, baby! <laughs> AT&T isn't promoting it, but they're now making DSL available without having to subscribe to phone service. Those of us who rely on cell phones and Skype have wanted naked broadband, but AT&T isn't offering the service at its standard $29.99 DSL rate. They're pricing the naked stuff at $44.99, which saves subscribers about a dollar a month under the cost of bundled service. A spokesperson for AT&T says the higher price reflects the actual cost of providing DSL and that standalone services are often priced higher than bundled services. I don't mind the cost, I just wish it was faster. Loads and loads faster, please. Now, I know this isn't something we talk about publicly, but don't you think blackmail is sometimes just more trouble than it's worth? It's one of those things in life that screams for a Web 2.0 solution. Enter extorter.com, the most technologically advanced extortion service in the world. Extorter condenses blackmail into three easy steps. <laughs> That's three. Number one, you upload a scandalous photo or video. Number two, you set a price, then email an anonymous threat. And number three, <laughs> three, if your demand isn't met, the photo or video goes public. Ah, but alas, extorter isn't real. It's a well thought out web 2.0 joke. <laughs> That's your brief for today. I'll be back tomorrow and then the next day and then the next day. I'm Callie Lewis, your fearless leader. Oh my god, it's like it's just three more days to like take advantage of the podshowgodaddy.com promotion. Sorry, we were eating in a food court yesterday and this girl was all like, I liked him, but I didn't know if he liked me, so Maria like asked if she could go out with him, and I was like, it kind of screwed me up. <laughs> Anywho, promo code GB1, GB2, or GB3 give you great deals on domain registrations and hosting services from GoDaddy.com. They also have really great customer service. I called them yesterday with an issue, and they had me fixed within 10 minutes. Ah, but alas, extorter isn't real. It's a web thought out, web 2.0 joke. Ha <laughs> ha. Those of us who rely on cell phones and Skype have wanted naked broadband. Naked. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> there you go again. Another Pod Show video podcast. Stick it on your screen.